Ugh, why am I always tired? I got a full eight hours of- Have you ever seen those viral stick figure animations like Rico Animation and wondered how they're made? On YouTube, most tutorials show how to create them manually, which takes hours of drawing and animating frame by frame. But what if I told you there's a much easier way? Today, I'll show you a simple method to create these animations using AI, without any drawing or manual animation. We'll use AI to generate everything. Scripts, characters, animations, and even voiceovers, all with free, beginner-friendly tools. Then, we'll bring it all together in CapCut to create a smooth, professional-looking video. This step-by-step -step process makes animation easier than ever, even if you've never done it before. So, let's jump in and create your first viral stick figure animation. The first step to making viral, engaging stick figure animation videos is having a solid script. And to come up with great ideas, we're going to use ChatGPT. Start by heading over to our Discord server and copying the first prompt. This prompt is designed to help you create either a single-person conversation script or a multi-person conversation script. If you've ever watched videos from the Rico Animation YouTube channel, you'll notice they use these types of scripts a lot. Once you've copied the prompt, paste it into ChatGPT. It will generate two different scripts, one for a single-person conversation and another for a multi-person conversation. Both scripts will include character dialogues to bring the story to life. For example, in the generated scripts, you'll see a title at the top, followed by a breakdown into different scenes. These scenes are super useful because they make it easier when creating AI-generated images for our story. Now, pick the script you like, then copy the title and paste it into ChatGPT's text box. After that, grab the second prompt. In this step, we're going to identify all the characters in the script and write detailed descriptions for them. This prompt is designed to help us create full character descriptions, including details like gender, head shape, hairstyle, clothing, facial expressions, and more. So, copy the prompt and paste it right below the title in ChatGPT. Once you do that, ChatGPT will analyze the script and generate descriptions for every character in the scene. These descriptions are super important because they allow us to create accurate AI-generated images and ensure that character designs stay consistent throughout the video. Now that we have both the script and the character descriptions for our viral stick figure animation videos, the next step is organizing them. First, copy the script and paste it into a Google Docs file. Then, take all the character descriptions and paste them into a separate Google Docs file. This will help keep everything organized and make it easier to reference. Once that's done, the next step is creating image prompts and writing animation descriptions for each scene in the script. To make this easier, I've created another prompt for you. This new prompt will help you generate two or more image prompts for each scene. It's especially useful for creating stick figure animations, with a simple white background and all other elements in black, just like how Rico Animation does their videos. Now, I've seen many YouTube channels showing how to create images manually by drawing them. That can be really difficult if you're not an expert. So, this step is especially helpful if you're a beginner. Now, what you need to do is copy the prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. Then, we will go through the script scene by scene. For each scene, ChatGPT will write image prompts to cover all the shots in that scene. For example, let's say our first scene is, Bob is sitting at his desk, letting out a huge yawn and saying a dialogue. What you'll do is copy that scene and paste it into the ChatGPT text box. Now, you'll notice that there is a character featured in the scene called Bob. So, copy Bob's character description and paste it below the scene. ChatGPT will then create prompts using Bob's exact character description. As you can see, ChatGPT divides that scene into four shots. The first one is Bob sitting at his desk, looking bored. The second shot is Bob letting out a huge yawn, and so on. Below each image prompt, you'll also see the style of images mentioned. This is important when we're creating images using AI. Additionally, ChatGPT will write an animation description for each shot. This helps when we're animating the images later on. Once you've done this for scene 1, repeat the same process for the other scenes. Copy the scene, paste it into ChatGPT's text box, then add the character descriptions for all the characters featured in that scene. ChatGPT will divide each scene into shots, and you'll get both image prompts and animation descriptions. Once all the scenes are done, we can move on to creating the images for our script. For this step, I used Leonardo AI, but you can use any image generator you prefer. I chose this tool because it gives free credits daily to create images. Now, for the model, I used Flux Schnell because it only costs 10 credits to create 4 images. But feel free to choose any model that works best for you. For the style, you can choose either dynamic or illustration. From what I've seen, these two styles give the best results compared to others. 
I'll start with the dynamic style and show you the illustration result a bit later. Next, select the image dimensions you want. After that, go back to ChatGPT and copy the first shot image prompt from scene 1. Paste it into Leonardo AI. Once you paste it, go through the prompt and make sure everything is correct. Make sure you include stick figure before every character's name and ensure the character descriptions are accurate. Also, don't forget to include the style mention to get that stick figure image style. Once everything's set, click Generate. Here's the result for the dynamic style. You can see it looks exactly like the stick figure animations from Rico Animation. Next, select Illustration as the style and click Generate again. Here's the result for that. As you can see, both are really similar, but I prefer the dynamic image style. Now, let's create the image for Scene 1, Shot 2. Copy the image prompt and paste it into Leonardo AI. Then, double-check the prompt to make sure it includes stick figure before each character name, the correct image style, and the character descriptions. If anything is missing, go back and add it to make sure you get the best results. Once everything looks good, click Generate. Here's the result. As you can see, both images, characters, and the style look consistent. Now, if you want, you can just keep these two images for Scene 1. You don't have to create an image for every shot in the scene. Using the animation description, you can animate these two images for all the shots in that scene, and it will still look consistent. It's totally up to you. If you want more images for your scene, just repeat the same steps. Copy the prompt, paste it, recheck it, and add the image style and character descriptions. Then, click Generate, and you'll get images for that shot. Do this for all the scenes in your script. Once you've created all the images, download them. In the next step, we'll move on to animating those images. For this step, I used Hiluo AI. However, you can use any video generators you like, such as Kling AI, Vidu AI, Design AI, or any other tool that suits your needs. Once you're in Halo AI, click on Create. Then, upload the first image from Scene 1. After that, copy the animation description for that scene shot and paste it into text box. Now, the important part. Copy the animation prompt provided in the Discord and paste it into Hilo AI's text box. This prompt ensures that the AI keeps the animation in the exact black and white line art style because sometimes Hilo AI may add colors, gradients, or shading to the animation. We want to avoid that, and this prompt will help us keep the style we want. Next, select the 12V-01 Live model. This model works perfectly for 2D illustrations. Once everything is set, click Create. The AI will start animating your image. Repeat these steps for the other shots. For example, upload the second shot image from Scene 1 and paste the animation description into Hilo AI's text box. You can either use the animation description provided by ChatGPT or modify it to fit your vision. Once you're happy with it, click Create. For Scene 1, I use just two images for all the shots. I only change the animation description for each shot, keeping the same image with different animations. This way, the look stays consistent throughout. It's totally up to you, though. If you want more images, you can create them for each shot. Here are the results of my animations. Pretty good, right? Normally, you'd have to create all the animations manually, and many creators only show that process. But today, you've learned how to create animations using just a prompt with AI. You can follow the same steps for all the images in the other scenes. Just make sure to double-check the animation descriptions before animating, because those prompts are key to getting the best results. You can use the exact animation description provided by ChatGPT or change it to fit your needs. Here are some results of my animations. Looking great, right? Now that our animations are ready, it's time to create voiceovers for the character dialogues. For this, we'll use Eleven Labs, which is currently one of the best voiceover tools available. Start by copying your script and heading to Eleven Labs. Click on Studio, and then select Start from Scratch. Once you're in, paste your script into the text box. Next, remove all the unwanted text, leaving only the character dialogues. Now, let's assign voices to the characters. Select the first character's dialogue, for example, Bob, and choose the most suitable voice from the available options. For Bob's lines, I'll use the voice I've chosen for him. And similarly, I'll choose a different voice for Joe and a female voice for Sarah. Once you've selected all the voices for each dialogue, click Convert. After the conversion is complete, download the voiceover file. Now we have our animations and character voiceovers ready. The next step is to edit everything together using CapCut. First, open CapCut and upload all your animations and voiceovers. Then, drag them to the timeline and arrange everything in the correct order according to your script. Next, split and trim each animation to match the timing of your script. This step ensures that every scene flows smoothly. Now, let's add text at the beginning of the video. 
Go to the text tab, choose a template you like, and place it at the start of the timeline. You can customize it using the settings on the right. Adding text at the beginning is a great way to hook your viewers right away. Next, let's sync the voiceovers with the animation. Split each dialogue and position it in the correct scene where the character is speaking. Finally, let's add some sound effects to enhance the video. Go to the Audio tab and search for sound effects that fit your scenes. CapCut has a huge library, so there's plenty to choose from. Sound effects make the video feel more dynamic and engaging. If you want, you can also add effects, transitions, and captions to make your video even better. Once everything looks perfect, click Export, and your video is ready to go. <sighs> <sighs> uh, why am I always tired? I got a full eight hours of... Dude, why'd you do that? Now I'm yawning. Wait, I don't even know why I'm yawning. <sighs> I may have just started the world's longest yawn chain. How amazing was that? Creating this type of content with AI might seem tricky at first, but we just made a high-quality videos like Rico Animations using only AI. Trust me, with this process, you can create these type of videos in just minutes. Without AI, you'd have to manually draw and animate everything, spending countless hours. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord server or Telegram channel for support. You'll also find all the prompts we use there. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.